Hi buddy, hello and welcome once again uh, to this particular channel. As always, I feel honored. Now, allow me to take a review of these two common uh, apps that are normally used for uh, purchasing uh, products or services online. So if you are in Kenya specifically, uh, you are aware that Jumia and Glovo, uh, these are the common apps that most people use to maybe do some kind of uh, online shopping. So today we are going to look at uh, critically maybe the differences between the two, right? And which uh, particular option maybe is the best, right? So at the end of this particular video, it is you to make uh, some kind of choice on which one do you prefer or uh, not prefer. Again, I can't really uh, holistically uh, do the review of the two. So if you have any recommendation or suggestion, kindly uh, feel free to participate by commenting uh, below. So uh, particularly, I'm going to narrow down uh, into the job opportunities that these two apps provide. Uh, of course, which are the payment options uh, do they provide? Uh, of course, we are going also to look at delivery costs between uh, Zoomia and Glovo. We are also going to narrow down to number of services and products that uh, either provide. And of course, we are going to look at a, a view or a look at the delivery time yeah between the two which one maybe takes time to deliver which one uh, does that very very fast and of course how easy is it to use maybe Glovo app or uh, Jumia app and which specifically uh, option do we prefer for the last mile delivery right uh, proximity to where you uh, reside or where you stay and of course which one has more of uh, various uh, vendors. So before we proceed, always feel free uh, to subscribe. All right. Uh, thanks, uh, buddy. So when we are talking about global, of course, this is one of the preferred uh, option uh, for paying or actually delivering uh, particular products and services to our doorsteps. Uh, that also uh, is also the same thing to Jumia. So here we are just going to look at based on the order that I would mention. So let's try to look at the first uh, difference or maybe uh, the options that they have as far as job opportunities is concerned. So number one is the job opportunity factor. Now let's look at Glovo. Uh, no, Glovo provides uh, job opportunities for the rider so you can become a rider with Glovo of course as you can see here you can also partner with them like, like you can see we have different partners yeah uh, like restaurants if you have a restaurant you can always partner with them and of course they offer also different careers that can always apply right so I think these are the major uh, key job opportunities that they provide uh, whereas if we check on Jumia especially when it comes to making money so you can say uh, i have just scrolled down uh, we have how you can or the job opportunities that jumia provides so you can sell on jumia we all know that just the same as glovo we you can also become a sales consultant so these are the job opportunities that jumia provides uh, also you can uh, apply to be one of the logistics uh, provider within jumia and of course they have the city partner program I think uh, this is what to refer to as the call program or the affiliate uh, program. So these are ways that you can uh, make money in both the uh, using both the apps. Uh, at number two, we talk about the payment options, right? Now, they I believe they provide almost similar payment option. Uh, like for example, if you take a look at uh, Zoomia, uh, they provide. I believe they always provide the, um, the Jumia Pay. They have the Jumia Pay. You can use the Jumia Pay. You can have use the MasterCard. They also have Visa. And of course, you can pay on delivery. This is via the mobile uh, phones, like the M-Pesa. Uh, those options are also available within uh, Global. So if you come to Global and you order, you can always uh, pay using the same options as Jumia. So I think uh, that is just a good uh, thing that number three apart from our payments we have the delivery costs now uh, both the options provide some kind of cost and you'll agree with me that uh, when it comes to delivery there are factors that affect 
uh, the cost. Like for example, uh, for instance, the package, right? The size of the package, maybe the quantity and the quality. Yeah. So irrespective of which option you use, those factors are always sometimes uh, maybe add up to the delivery uh, cost. Now what I know with, um, again, what I know with Glovo, since I've used it, uh, also it depends with the distance, the location, right? So the same thing. Uh, now, when you compare the cost of uh, Glovo and Jumia, uh, that is to the respect with the, the distance or location, I always say that uh, Jumia is a bit cheaper, right? Because you can order some items from Jumia, uh, maybe from town or CBD, and you're, st you're staying far. Let's say some in the outskirts of uh, Nairobi, like Kiambu, uh, they can always charge you a bit reasonable. Uh, but you can always deliver uh, or can request for some delivery uh, from Glovo, even if it's just some few meters, and the delivery uh, cost is always a bit, I think, uh, higher. So those are some of the things that uh, maybe we can factor in, delivery uh, cost. So, but it's you to maybe uh, make some judgment on that. Then we have uh, the number of services at number uh, four. Uh, that is what we uh, grid that you're going to look at. So, number of services. So, let's take a look at maybe Glovo, the kind of services that they provide. Now, uh, you'll agree with me that uh, there are some kind of limited services that uh, Glovo provides. Actually, they normally narrow down to uh, food stuff, yeah, uh, delivery of fast foods. I think that is something that is very common. Of course, they have expanded. They can always maybe... Uh, even uh, deliver the, they can deliver you your flowers, uh, some kind of medications, right? But I think their core major uh, business uh, actually revolves around a delivery of groceries and food stuff. So I more or less compare it with uh, this component of Jumia, uh, which is known as the Jumia food. Yeah. So you can see the match with the Jumia food, right? Uh, their services are more or less the same as uh, Jumia food, right? Uh, so you can see it's the same approach that actually Jumia provides and Glovo. So you can see uh, with respect to services and actually products, uh, Jumia provides an, or have an upper hand. So you can see even the products within Jumia, they are quite a number because you can see there are different categories have electronics, we have uh, baby products, and so on. So that makes Jumia maybe a one-stop shop yeah, for most items that you need to purchase uh, online. So you can take note of that. Um, but when it comes to delivery of uh, uh, food stuff and uh, these groceries, I think I'll give it to Glovo. I don't know what you think. You can always <laughs> comment there. Then we have a delivery time as our number six, uh, number five actually. So delivery time here, also we need to factor in the uh, concept of um, location, right? And of course, there's this approach that Jumia has brought, known as the Prime. I don't know how many have used the Jumia Prime. Yeah. Now this Jumia Prime, it kind of gives or has an upper hand, yeah? to the kind of uh, time, delivery time, that Jumia uh, actually provides. Because if you if you use a Jumia Prime, uh, it offers fast or faster delivery, right? And of course, also, the delivery cost is always a little bit uh, reduced, yeah? So, uh, Jumia uh, Prime is one thing that maybe uh, you need to f check. I think it is, uh, it is a bit down right now. So Jumia Prime, once you upgrade your membership to Jumia Prime, I think the delivery time, they normally uh, try to uh, give you some kind of priority. Yeah. And of course, also we have the uh, Jumia Express. Yeah. These are also some options that Jumia provide that actually uh, helps uh, you to have your delivery uh, on time. Other factors that also Jumia puts into perspective, of course, as I mentioned, uh, maybe the um, 
uh, the size of that particular package remember both these uh, both these particular apps they use uh, the business model that allows you or, or allows suppliers to maybe uh, bring their products in a centralized location is when now they they ship them to their customers so actually the time factor that maybe the delay of uh, suppliers bringing in those particular products and services might contribute uh, to maybe the delay of the deliveries. So I think uh, the, uh, Jumia offers some kind of uh, a timing. Like I think if, uh, if they are fast food, for example, they can be shipped or delivered maybe uh, within 40 or 50 minutes, same to Glovo. Uh, but if there are these particular products that maybe uh, need that we need to wait for suppliers, it could take three or four days uh, based on when you actually are requested for those particular uh, products. Now, ease of use is another factor that we need to check. The interface of these particular two apps, I think it is a bit easier. Uh, maybe the first time I used Global, I found it a bit challenging yeah, because I, I was like, what should I type? What is your address? I use your current location. And I think this is tied to the uh, to the last mile. Yeah. Uh, normally, when we use these particular apps, we normally want our products to be delivered up to our doorsteps. Yeah. Uh, something that I've realized with Glovo is that at least with them, they put that particular effort so that at least that delivery comes to your doorstep. Uh, for Jumia, they normally have their pickup points. Maybe it could be some a uh, few meters from where you're staying, so you have to go to that particular uh, pickup point so that you get your products, right? So uh, that uh, is something that we need to maybe look at when we look at these two uh, options. And of course, the last point that we can factor in is the uh, is what we refer to as the uh, number of vendors. Yeah, so. As you can see, uh, Jumia, I think, takes upper hand because you can see Jumia has multiple vendors yeah, within its uh, e-commerce platform, right? Vendors actually selling a lot of different products and so on. Uh, compared to Global, I can see that um, we have few uh, vendors and I think also the procedure of becoming a Global partner is actually not uh, really straightforward comp as compared to uh, Jumia. So we can go on and on, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to check on these differences. Of course, also the other one is that uh, both have the apps. I don't know how to, how easy is it to uh, download and install those particular apps within your phone. That is another thing that you can uh, figure out and so on and so forth. So uh, generally, in conclusion, what I can say is that both the apps they are not really doing bad they are offering at least 80 percent of the services that we as the end users might uh, require just except of one or two things yeah maybe uh, based on their business model is what creates all these particular uh, differences so should you find this particular information useful always feel free uh, to like this particular video and also uh, subscribe all right, thanks.